Good day everyone. In this video, I will be discussing about the Lebesgue's outer measure. So, let the function m star from the power set of the set of real numbers to Dacov's interval from 0 to positive infinity. So, negative is not included here, negative numbers. Now, uh, we mean power set of R as the subsets of all set of real numbers. Hence, power set of R, we mean uh, not the set of natural numbers is included, the set of integers is included, the set of whole numbers, uh, the set of rational and irrational numbers, and the like. Also, the subset of the set of natural numbers is also a subset of the power set of x. For example, if we have 1, 2, 3. So the set with elements 1, 2, 3 is of course a subset of the natural, uh, real numbers rather, a set of real numbers. Also, uh, any set or set of all intervals. Say for example, this open interval here is also a subset of the set of real numbers. Now, uh, let me illustrate an example of this function here. Mm, say, for example, if we have the set here, uh, set, say, 1, 2, 4, so it maps to so it, any number from 0 to positive infinity. So we have here 3. And then, say, for example, the open or closed interval, say, 2, 3. So it maps to, mm, say, 3. Or let me have here, at uh, 3, 1. Okay, so from 2, 3, so 1. So, or we can, we can have, say, we let this as our set A, the set with elements 1, 2, 3, 4. So we can write, the outer measure of A, or the M star of A, rather, is equal to 3. So, M star, this is actually equal to M star of A, because we let this set be A. Say, so for example, we let this set as B, so we can write this as M star of B is equal to 1, or this function. Now, uh, here's the definition of the function m star. So, it is defined as the infimum. Infimum of the summation of the length of this one is a countable collection of open intervals with this condition. So we have this condition wherein uh, A is contained in the countable union of the collection I sub n where n is from 1 to infinity. So M star here is called the Lebesgue's outer measure. Now try to recall if we have this condition we mean that this collection here, the open intervals, collection of open intervals, is a cover for A, right? Specifically, it is an open cover of A. So, uh, here's an illustration for that. Let us try to recall an open cover. Okay, let's have here an illustration. Okay, say so we have this as our set A. So when you say open covering, if you are going to get the union of the collection, the union contains the set A, say, 
we have this one and so on or we could have many say this is uh, I1 I sub 1 I sub 2 so this is I sub 3 I sub 4 this is I sub 5 I sub 6 and so on so as you notice uh, by the way, the interval I sub 1 is this one. This one. The interval I sub 2 is this one. I sub 3 here, this one. From this number to this number. I sub 4 is from this number to this number. I sub 5 here to here. Then I sub 6 and so on. As you can see, if you're going to get the union of the intervals, collection of intervals, the union of I sub n where n is from 1 to infinity, okay, it contains the set 3. Or the collection covers set A. Okay? Okay. So, uh, let us now have the uh, concept of the, the length. Right? Okay, for the concept of the length, uh, let's have here a uh, very basic lang call, very basic illustration. So, for the length of, say for example, uh, let's have an open inter or closed interval. For open interval, we have uh, 3, 5. So, of course, the length here is 5 minus 3, which is equal to 2. So in general, if we have the interval AB, so the length of this, of our open interval, is just equal to the absolute value of B minus A. So of course, the length is always positive. Now, if we have uh, say, for example, in general, if we have here uh, I sub n, I sub n, d, d, open intervals here. So, the length of this I sub n is, of course, the absolute value of the difference of the two points here. Number interval. So, that is the length of an interval. Now, if we have the summation, summation, of course, we have the summation of the length of I sub n, where n is from 1 to infinity, is of course, this is length of I1 plus length of I2 plus, and so on. It means, of course, the length of I1 is the absolute value of B1 minus A1 plus, here, the length is B2 minus A2 plus, and so on. So that is the, the length of the summation of the length of the given intervals, the collection of intervals. So what about if we have the infimum, infimum of this summation? Now, now uh, let's try to draw again an illustration. So we have here the, our set. We have here our set A. So we can have collections of collection of countable open intervals, say Anisha Diha here, here, Sada Diha, here, many. Ito, pwede nandito, here, and so on. So this would be our I sub ends ito. So, when we talk about the infimum, of course, pinakagamay na siya nga 
length. We're talking about the smallest length. Among all the possibilities, among all the possible ways. So, of course, there are many. As you can see here in our illustration, there are many possible ways that we can choose for the collection I sub N. Such that it satisfies the condition that if we are going to get the union, sorry, if we are going to get the union of I sub n, from, where n is from 1 to infinity, the union covers A. So, it covers A. So, it contains A. So, now let us have the first possible or the first way. So, we can choose Actually, have these are our I sub n's, open intervals. So, we can choose this one, this one, this one, this one. It covers A. Uh, we can have this one, this one, this one, this one, this one, this one, and so on. So, as you can see, if we are going to get the union of this interval only, Eto lang. This collection of open intervals, it covers A, right? So, that is one way of choosing the, the collection of intervals. Then, there are many ways, actually. Now, our goal here is to get the infimum of the summation of the length of the open intervals where n is from 1 to infinity, so for all n. So, of course, in that case, so we are choosing the smallest intervals, the, the, the shortest length, the shortest length. So, actually, how we are, we are summing all the, the length here. So, ito, the length of this, plus the length of this, plus the length, plus the length, and so on. So another way is we can also choose this length, plus this length, plus this length, and so on. So as long as it covers the set A. Now, the infimum here that we are talking about is called the our M star of A. So our M star of A. So what is M star again? It is the Lebesgue's outer measure. Therefore, the Lebesgue's outer measure of A is just equal to the infimum of the summation of the length of the, the our intervals, open intervals. So, that's it. So, please try to, uh, please note here that, of course, the collection is a countable open cover, consisting of open intervals of a. Um, in my next lecture, I'll be discussing some existing results about the Lebesgue's outer measure.